Hi, I'm G, and welcome back to my series on winter warmers. Today I'm going to rustle up lamb shanks in red wine and butter beans, which is perfect for a long, slow cook on a winter's day. And for all the ingredients in this recipe, they're in the description box. So I've got four lamb shanks here and a nice hot pan. Now I want to get a little bit of colour on these, so a bit of oil into the pan and allow that to get nice and hot. And then you just want to brown your lamb shanks. They've got a sort of skin on them which will take on a beautiful bit of colour. And the nice thing about that, it'll become caramelised and add flavour to your dish at the end. So I do them two at a time. When you're trying to brown something, if you add too much to the pan, they start to stew as it drops the temperature and it starts to bubble rather than get that nice colour. You can add a little bit of seasoning as well, a bit of salt and a bit of pepper. Now some people would coat these in flour first like you do with beef stews. You can do that if you want to thicken your stew. But for me, when you start to brown flour, it starts to burn. So if it needs any thickening at the end, I'll do it at the end rather than at this stage. When you're browning things, you don't want to move them around too much in the pan because again, that drops the temperature. You want to leave them alone for a little bit. So be a bit patient. So these have taken on a little bit of color, which is perfect. And I'm just going to take them out onto a plate while I brown the other two. So the other two have taken on a bit of colour and I'm going to take those out of the pan too. And then just reduce your heat a little bit. Now all those caramelised bits in the bottom of the pan, that lamb fat, is what you're going to end up cooking your onions in. You just want to soften these. This is a long slow cook so don't worry too much about cooking everything through at this stage. You don't want the onions to take on any colour necessarily, so a little bit of salt will help them cook a little bit quicker. It draws out that little bit of moisture. And then red peppers, you can put whatever you like in this. If they're really soft vegetables, put them in a bit later, but the peppers do hold their texture. And now to make your sauce, I've got a tin of just chopped tomatoes. And now the good bit, good quality red wine. If you can't drink it, you shouldn't cook with it, and this you can definitely drink. But with other stews, you normally put in a bit of stock, but instead I'm gonna put in quite a bit of red wine. And because this cooks for so long, it reduces down and becomes thick and syrupy and sweet. This is not necessarily one for the kids. So bring that up to the boil on the hob and then you can pop your lamb shanks back in. They should be a nice tight fit in the pan. And now all the wine is in and there's quite a lot of it, I'm going to pop in two cloves of garlic whole. This will just let a little bit of garlicky flavour into it. If you want, you can grate it in at the beginning, but you can also pop it in whole there. It'll become beautiful and sweet as it cooks, and then you can almost squash it into the sauce. So once it's bubbling away, cover with the lid and either cook on the hob for two hours on a slow rolling simmer, or pop it in the oven, which is what I like to do because it gets it out of the way for about two to three hours until the meat's really tender at about, I say, 160. So I've taken my lamb shanks out of the oven and just popped them back onto the heat. Now I'm just gonna add my final touches. Because the red wine can be a little bitter sometimes, I'm just gonna add a little bit of brown sugar you can use white, but this adds a little bit of caramelly flavour to it. And then butter beans. These are just tinned that I've drained and rinsed. You can use any beans that you've got, haricot, anything like that. But you just want to warm them through. They're already cooked, so it's literally just two minutes to warm them up. You don't ever want to overcook butter beans because the skins are quite thick. And if you overcook them, they'll slip off and you'll get them into the dish rather than on the bean. And then finally some fresh parsley. I always think stews need a little bit of freshness with a bit of fresh herbs, otherwise they can be a bit heavy and a bit dark. So parsley 
is this Stu's friend. And then finally, a bit of fresh parsley. Keep a little bit back for later on. And this is a perfect hearty winter warmer. And you can either serve this with pappardelle pasta or a little bit of mashed potato. If you've cooked too many lamb shanks and you've got a bit left over, you can always just strip the meat off the bone, put it back into the sauce and then freeze it for a later date. Just a final bit of sauce over and a little bit of fresh chopped parsley. And there you have it, deliciously tender lamb shanks with red wine and butter beans. I hope you can join me in my next episode in my series of winter warmers.